Hi Chess fans, let's go and see the tiebreak game between Levon Aronian and Hikaru Nakamura. Hikaru is white in this position and see who wins this game in FIDE Grand Prix, the first leg, the final. I can't spoil it for you actually because the main point of this uh, video is not discussing the result but uh, the, discussing the end game. Uh, actually, Hikaru wins, and if this is what you want, you can leave the video right now. But what we want to talk about is the end game. It's a very important lesson in the end game, and it's something that Levon failed to find it. And um, but we learn a lesson here. Let's go forward. It's um, Roy Lopez. They both exclusively exclusively played Roy Lopez in this game or in this um, final uh, or played uh, Italian I mean the same as style a bit, um, basically and this is uh, martial attack style like you give up the central e pawn uh, white can grab the e5 one and the martial attack idea is that at some point you uh, this is not exact martial at some point you would like to bring the knight on g4 but you cannot because there is a pawn on h3 so mm, it's not exactly martial, but still it's martial style because in the process of winning the mm, uh, e pawn, black wins the bishop of white, and that's enough for a compensation. Because look at the bishops, look at the structure of white. This bishop eyes on h two. This bishop together with queen make a very uh, huge battery against the king of mm, black. Uh, the king of white and its uh, mating attack so it's huge compensation for a missed pawn for a lost one so but uh, white cannot tolerate this huge compensation and finally gives back the pawn and we enter the end game territory at this position and okay at this position if we talk about the position who is better clearly white why not because it's attacking that pawn because it has an active rook it doesn't have a back rank issue like mm, black see black cannot move this rook away for example cannot bring it here because white delivers mate and yeah black has to waste the tempo to get rid of back rank issue and this tempo costs him a pawn so white is up a clear pawn at this position and should win what is the end game lesson that we have uh, to take here then well um, white misses at the chances instead of playing queen side um, white plays king side and uh, slowly but surely level managed to level the game and at this position the game is leveled number of pawns is equal um, white has a slightly more advanced pawns uh, looks dangerous connected pawns looks dangerous but it's not that dangerous and if it is played carefully so Levon uh, gives up the edge pawn because a seal is a good position having two pawns against two pawns of course the b pawn of black is very weak very uh, loose but seal is a pawn and it stops white's map um, maneuvers at this position Levon moves the rook away you cannot stay in this file forever because for example if you stay in this file at some point uh, Hikaru plays in the rook c5 and attacks the pawn and you cannot keep the rook here you should do some activity oh sorry what happened okay so finally we arrive to this position that uh, Levon moves the rook away but keeps eye on c pawn because doesn't want to let the white to grab the b pawn without losing c pawn so Hikaru gets close to the no, rook and at this position here is the main end game lesson that we want to discuss. Levon uh, says that okay I will leave your c pawn it's okay because I go behind my f1 and I will push it. But there is an issue with this that with that move because first of all uh, black uh, white captures the black's uh, b4 5 pawn and we'll have a two pass pawn this is happens eventually second 
this is not the only issue second is that white's king is in the center and can take care of both f pawn of black and its own c pawn so and instead of that move levon should have a state in the c file in the uh, third rank sorry for example going there and then or it doesn't matter going to h4 it, uh, h3 or g3 doesn't matter and then if um, white captures black captures and that's it if white gets close to the pawn this is the point this is the lesson we want to learn if white takes the king close to the pawn to for example if we do some stupid move then next captures this pawn and wins okay if white gets close to that pawn then what should you do you should uh, stop no uh, you should sorry you should uh, start to give check to white's king white king cannot uh, stay forever in the same file or in the same location otherwise it's uh, the robot reputation should move away and um, hide behind the pawn know that white's king is very far from the f1 only no only no you go behind your pawn and i start to pushing it forward and yes both sides make queens but but that's it and black is uh, never losing this game unless blundering heavily is uh, black can win but okay uh, it's a fortress actually white doesn't allow black to capture the rook but yeah levon could uh, reach the row in this position with the streak first kicking away the knights of um, uh, the king of white and then going behind the pawn but instead what levon did was to directly trying to go behind the pawn but then notice that oh he loses the b pawn and he cannot immediately push the f1 because if pushes the f1 right now will be captured and the king is very close to defend the rook and he will waste the tempo and even if he go behind the pawn it doesn't help because this king is around white simply pushes the pawns and this king is around and takes care of that f pawn and stops the f pawn basically and what happened in the game is that levon said that okay i will cut your king off from your pawns and bring my own king close to your pawns and this is what he tries to do but on the other hand hikaru is also a tricky guy he says that i don't let you to do this easily i cut your king off and finally uh, you can see white's king is awesome it's centralized and defending its own pawn also stopping the f pawn of uh, black it's in, in within reach of white's king so uh, black tries to push the pawn it doesn't help much because white also can push the pawn or bring the king close to the pawn this is the issue that you can see that levon had to address earlier to kick the king away and then push the pawns um, uh, go behind the pawn and push it but he didn't take care of that and at this position finally you see that yeah uh, levon gives up the f pawn and grabs the b pawn he couldn't wait um, for example he couldn't wait one move for example like that no uh, because first of all this is under attack yeah and then what do you want to do uh no, you want to queen your pawn but it's very slow so you had to give up that f1 to save the rook and now how the white wins uh, actually at this position levon resigned i just want to show you this uh, particular case which is very helpful to know at this position the, the win is not very difficult but you should know this um, uh, win bring the king uh, out black cannot kick the king forever because finally king comes close and then can push the pawn and again you try to bring the king close notice that black's king is very far this is similar to lucena position even worse than lucena position black king is very far and therefore you have a liberty to move your rooks to defend your rook to defend the pawn and black king cannot catch that pawn because it's very far from that pawn and that pawn is a queen 
yeah and uh, you can simply queen this pawn and win it i hope you enjoyed and learned the end game lesson see you next time